Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Who's ready for another edition of Ask Diamond? I think I am. It's only been since, oh gosh, January 27th, I think, since I've done my last one. Um, and it's October now. So anyway, uh, let's get started. The first question that I have is, how do you plan your day so you are most productive? Um, that's a good question. I would say, uh, I mean, I like to plan my week the Sunday before. So I'll sit down on Sunday and I will map out all the things that I have to do for that week, put them on my calendar and look at any appointments that might already be there and then try to structure any errands or things like that that I need to run around, you know, where those appointments are going to be located. And then I do what's called stack and attack, which is you take, um, all the errands that you have to run or things that are sort of geographically either in one place or on the way to one place and you do those first or you do those all at the same time. So for example, let's say you have an appointment to get your hair done and it's in a certain area and then you need to go to Costco and you need to go to the grocery store. Well, try to hit those errands, you know, on your way back from getting your hair done. Obviously, you don't do it before, your groceries are gonna go bad, duh. But anyway, um, so you get the point. It's called stack and attack. So that's one of the simple things that I do just to manage my time and to be most productive. Um, and I could share with you guys a, a, a bunch of other little hints and tips and tricks but I don't want this to be a super long video so we'll just you know use one tip for today and then maybe I can share another one on another video let's get to the second question let's see the second question is where do you shop for your clothes well I love shopping for clothes and anyone who knows me knows that that I love shopping so here's the thing with me I shop everywhere okay and I do mean everywhere so you know I shop from place in places such as H&M Forever 21 um, you know uh, BB is a, is a good hit place that I love to hit um, BCBG Guess Marciano or Marciano by Guess whatever um, and let's see uh, but then of course I like you know some of the more upscale stores as well Neiman Marcus but let me tell you where my favorite places to shop are and that's when I travel abroad so if I'm in Italy or Turkey or you know anywhere across the world and I I, I mean that's what I love about traveling is to go and find you know these cute little off-the-wall boutique type places because you never know what you're gonna find there so I know that's not really what anybody was looking to hear but the truth is I do shop anywhere and everywhere the third question that I have is I am a new blogger what advice can you give me to deal with negative comments that people say well let me just tell you I uh, myself have received some negative comments way way more good comments than any I mean I think I've only received just a couple uh, negative comments and it really does sting. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I mean it sucks when someone you know says something mean I mean it's no different than if someone says something mean to your face Although I think people get a lot more comfortable saying mean things, you know online um, so Honestly, my very first reaction was I laughed because I was like holy crap. I've arrived because you know you, you you're you're nobody until somebody starts insulting you. I mean you know, like when people start trying to tear you down, that means you're kind of elevated a little bit, right? You're a little bit up if they're trying to pull you down. So, you know, be proud of the moment that you're just, you know, that you've kind of gotten to a place where people, you know, want to talk smack about you. But um, I think personally, the way to deal with it is to just, you know, surround yourself with people who believe in you, who understand what your vision is and what you're trying to do and understand this, okay? For example, I am creating a, uh, a little community, if you will. DiamondLeon.com is my um, is my fashion, excuse me, lifestyle fashion blog, right? Then I have my YouTube channel, and that's where I, you know, do all my little videos. I have this Ask Diamond segment. I have, um, you know, sort of DIY videos. Um, there's going to be some makeup tutorials and just all kinds of fun, girly stuff. But it's a community, you know. It, it's a community where people, you know gather and you know everybody sees what you're doing not everybody's gonna like it 
you know, but there's going to be a lot more people that like it than not like it because why would they keep coming back to your channel? Duh. So when people say mean things, you know, um, I'm not going to lie. It does sting, but I think at the end of the day, you just have to believe in your vision and you just have to understand that not everybody's going to like you. And I think once you accept that, you don't care as much. So anyway, those were the three questions for today. And, um, I guess that's it. I will see you guys back here next Monday with a brand new video. I would like to do a Halloween makeup tutorial. Wouldn't that be fun? I don't know what I'm going to do, but if you guys have any ideas, please uh, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you think of any other questions that you'd like for me to answer, I'll be happy to answer them. And I am still shooting on my iPhone right now because I ordered a new camera today and it's going to be in soon. So hopefully the quality of my videos will only get better. And that's it. Oh, please do not forget to check out my lifestyle blog, lifestyle slash fashion blog at diamondleone.com. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have a great week and I will see you here next Monday. Bye.